Hello, in this video I'm going to show you all backup methods on the Samsung Galaxy S25. Ok, so let's begin. We need to open up our settings first. Once we are here, we need to scroll down until we find the accounts and backup. Uh, and in here we have the Samsung Cloud, Google Drive and the Smart Switch. Uh, for example, when it comes to the uh, transfer data for device setup using the Smart Switch, uh, unfortunately uh, this only works on other um, Galaxy devices uh, and also uh, we want to send from this phone. Um, but when we take another Android device and when we uh, download the Smart Switch, uh, we cannot receive, we only can send uh, on our another device. So it doesn't want to work, but don't worry, there are a few other methods how you can create a backup. So um, let's begin with the Samsung Cloud. Let's click on backup data. And remember that for this method, you need to have your uh, Samsung account created and you need to be logged in into that. Uh, in here, simply select the things that you want to backup. In here, you can see the whole list. And now simply click on backup now. Now the process will start, as you can see. OK, now click on done. And boom. That's all, our, back, our backup has been successfully saved. So, as you can see, it was really, really fast. Uh, the next thing uh, is the backup by Google Drive. So, simply click on backup data. Uh, in here, um, you need to uh, remember the Google account that you can see right in here below the account storage, because on that Google account, uh, your backup will be saved. And in the future, if you want to restore it, uh, you will need to be logged in into the same Google account that you can see on your phone right in here. Uh, make sure that backup by Google One is enabled also right in here. And now uh, ma also make sure that you have some free space. Uh, if you don't have, you can click on manage storage and delete. Uh, one of the uh, backups that you have and that you don't need anymore and now simply click on backup Now the process is running Okay, and now you can see that under the backup this uh, thin bar appeared and it's starting to fulfill uh, Basically when it disappears uh, it will mean that our backup has been successfully saved also on the bottom of the screen We will see that our backup has been successfully made Alright, so now let's simply wait until this process is finished. Okay, now my data has been successfully backed You can also see uh, right in here that uh, our backup has been saved. You can see in my case it was zero minutes ago. Uh, and uh, to in, on the left side we can see this, uh, this number one, which means that a backup is successfully made. Now we can go back and now I'm going to show you how to create a backup on the external storage transfer. Simply click in here and now you need to connect, uh, I don't know, an SD card on, on, or another USB storage device. Mm. So now I'm going to plug it in. Okay. Now it should appear. All right. Uh, and now we want to click on backup to USB storage. Now the process also has started, so we need to wait until it's finished because it's searching for the data right now. Uh, and in here we can select what we want to backup. So it can be everything, just calls, contacts and messages uh, or custom. In my case, uh, I'm gonna select just calls, contacts and messages. Now click on next, click on OK. Now the process is running. It's not going to take much time because I only selected the messages and that kind of stuff. And as you can see, we are almost done. We need to wait until it's finished. All right, we have our backup results. 52 items, two megabytes. Click on next. All set, click on done and boom. Now our backup has been successfully made. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.